administration as Attorney General, all those who work for you. Senator, with respect to sequestration, I have had an opportunity to review that matter very closely uh, through my work on the Attorney General's Advisory Committee and also as, you, as, as United States Attorney dealing with the budgetary limits um, that, that came down with the implementation of sequestration. Um, as you are familiar with the history perhaps far more than I, it did constrain the federal budget uh, greatly um, about, uh, about 18 months Is this months a ago. fair statement? If Congress continues to implement sequestration, Attorney General it Caldwell will and Andrew Grossman for this keynote discussion and their perspectives on the state of the net. Thanks a lot for taking the time to do this. Um, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time on uh, Leslie's background. Uh, this is actually her second tour at the Justice Department. Um, the first time around, she spent 16 years as a federal prosecutor. She led prosecutions uh, of everyone from gangsters in Brooklyn to Medicare fraudsters in San Francisco. Uh, and then after the collapse of Enron, she directed the task force that brought charges against top executives there. And after that, she spent 10 years on the other side of the table, largely doing white collar work. Uh, she was confirmed as the head of the Justice Department's criminal division in May. So that puts her at the center of the department's decision making on what sorts of cases it'll prioritize and how it'll go about making those cases. <laughs> so my plan here is to um, start by giving you a chance to give a broad overview of your approach to cyber issues. Uh, then I thought we'd delve into some of the administration's legislative proposals in this area. And then we'll move Attorney on General to enforcement. General Lynch has, is calling this the Strong Cities Network. Uh, she's going to be working in several American cities uh, working on what, a law enforcement initiative that will actually encompass the globe. And David, now this is going to override the Constitution. It's, it's much bigger than uh, well, it's fighting very extremism. It's very troubling, Leanne, because this is yet another example of information sharing. I mean, if we look at these uh, press releases from the Justice Department and others, and we looked at a word cloud, what we're going to see here over and over again is sharing, global, extremism, and we need to look at what they're talking about when they talk about extremism. We're going to cover that in just a moment. But we need to look at what they're talking about in terms of the global aspect. We need to understand that what they're looking at here is yet another example, just as we've got corporations constantly spying on you and sharing information with each other, sharing information predominantly with the government. They now want to do this at a local level. Think of it kind of like Agenda 21, where they're working uh, grassroots level to enact a global agenda. And of course, that global agenda is total information awareness. We've mm -hmm. talked many times about how they want to create a geospatial intelligence. They want to know everything about you that they can possibly know about you, map it onto a location, and then use that in a pre-crime type of way. Right. And that's very concerning. 